Hi Virgo, welcome back. I'm Nan and this is Silky Intuitive. We want to take a look at the general outlook for uh, my Virgo friends for the month of October 2016. <clears throat> Let me tell you though, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of transformative readings so far for the month of October, both the personal readings and for the uh, individual signs that I'm doing here on YouTube and some work I'm doing on Vimeo. A lot of the information coming through is transformative, which means a lot of people, don't shoot me, <clears throat> are leaving old, bad, worn out situations, jobs, relationships, marriages. This is big scale kind of transformation going on for people. So, it's just a warning. You're going to get another message possibly about serious transformation happening in your life. For the good, for the bad. Uh, both Capricorn and Taurus, your fellow signs, shared something, something in common where they're going through transitional relationship stuff where a lot of them are leaving, walking away from uh, relationships that don't serve them anymore. Well, first I'm going to draw a inspirational word of the, of the month or a focus word, we can call it, energy word. <clears throat> For Vir Virgo, it's respect. I'm not sure what meaning that's going to have for you. Uh, but let's take a look. First thing, though, what I didn't do is light your candles. So let's talk about Virgo for a minute. So I know that from previous readings, Virgo's been going through some really challenging times um, in the past. So I do expect that we've got some transformative information coming through for some of you. Now we have a focus word. Let's pick a, big, pick a big energy card for this time period. I'm not looking. See, I'm not looking. All right, I'm not looking. Okay, we're going to go. I'm feeling it, right? Is it this one or is it the one in front? It's the one in front. Okay. All right, wow, the emperor. Uh, someone may be dealing with authority figures, Virgo, during this time. This can also talk about uh, hmm, uh, becoming the authority in your own life, uh, working for yourself on that scale, or you can talk about having to deal with someone with whom you have to show a modicum of respect. So we've got respect and the emperor's energy here going on for Virgo. <clears throat> in uh, the month of October. Now let me take a quick look here because I believe he's Aries. Yes, he does represent Aries, which is a, a fire sign. Uh, but he's, you know, he's got that take charge kind of energy. He definitely does uh, command respect. And uh, I see that some of you may be dealing with authority figures during this time. I've already pre-shuffled all of your decks, but we're going to give it another, another shuffle of the energy of Virgo into the cards. And let's see what Virgo may be facing in the month of October. This may not resonate with all of you. Uh, check your sun, moon, and rising sign. And if you decide you want a reading meant just for you, reach out to me at my Weebly website. Go to the contact form after you've chosen a reading. Tell me what you want. And I will get that invoice to you usually within the first 12 to, no later than 12 to 24 hours do I ever wait to respond. And sometimes I, I respond immediately. So, here we go. Let's take a look at Virgo. Okay, Virgo, what are we dealing with? We're going to take six cards down. Okay, 
Now, somebody else got this today. I'm not sure whether it was a private reading or one of the other two signs, but we've got the Ten of Pentacles. It is a focus point. So for some of you, you are dealing with your bosses. You're dealing with authority figures. And these may be employers, or this may be you taking charge of your life and commanding respect and becoming your own boss. But let's see what your cards have to say. Six down. The Wheel of Fortune. Well, we can see that money is connected to this. We've got uh, the Nine of Cups fulfillment. Fulfillment of wishes. But uh, overwhelmingly uh, feeling abundant and satisfied with what you're doing. But we also have a Four of Cups. Uh, an offer maybe e either given or received. Uh, which isn't really met with a lot of enthusiasm. I'm not sure what that is about yet. I'm thankful that you guys are not drawing the same kind of reading that your fellow earth signs did. Capricorn's was brutal. And Taurus's was, well, you've got the judgment card, just like Taurus got here, I believe. Okay, so we've got a change in fortune. Change is coming for Virgo. Uh, some of them uh, may be coming in quickly with the Knight of Swords. This could be the delivery of word that something quite uh, fortunate is happening for my Virgo. After a time of some disappointment where uh, the abundance of love is concerned. So I really think this is an offer coming for Virgo. Maybe after a time of disappointment where love is concerned, maybe this emperor person is a new love interest coming through for you. This can be a new love interest of uh, high standing, quite a secure individual, mature, uh, successful, um, <clears throat> or approaching success. Um, this And with the respect card, I almost feel like this is someone's boss. Proposing something more than dictation, if you understand what I'm saying. But I think someone's boss may be offering them something connected to well, an act of love that maybe they're not terribly interested in. And it comes at them from almost out of nowhere. But there's a decision to be made, and I almost feel like this person is saying, sleep with me and I'll give you more money. Sleep with me and you'll get a promotion in the company. Uh, come with me uh, to, to some South Sea Island and, you know, we'll yuck it up for a week while my wife sits at home with the children and you're kind of puzzled and disappointed in this person because it may have been someone that you respect. I'm getting several different scenarios from this. Uh, this can also talk about um, having a wish around a certain person. Maybe there's some fear of rejection when you approach this person. Maybe there's an attraction for you around someone who may be an authority figure and someone you're supposed to respect. And out of that comes this desire to be more than just a work associate. There's <clears throat> a decision around that situation, maybe an offer being made. Someone deciding whether or not it may be worth uh, taking the chance. This can also be you in a position of respect. Um, I almost feel like there's an employer out there for someone of you. 
who has promised you big money, promised you raises, promised you benefits, and when it comes time for delivery on those promises, on those big wishes that you've got for abundance and prosperity, when it comes to you, it's a huge disappointment. And you're dealing with how to confront that situation that was based on promises. Things that you were really needing, wishing into your life. It feels to me like someone really kind of got the short end of the stick. The focus was a ton of pentacles. But what we have here for someone is... A promise not kept and a disappointment and a situation where someone has to make changes because the Wheel of Fortune not only brings changes, but it brings movement and it brings decisions. <clears throat> the John Holland card. There's been a, an emotional loss connected for some of you. There's material harvest available. Acceler accelerated motion tells me that this is an offer that may come out of nowhere. I said this before. It may be as if someone says to you, they see maybe you have a weakness. Maybe they see that someone, and this may not be you, this may be someone that you're involved with, someone close to you, but there may be a sense that they can see that you are almost vulnerable. I get a sense that there's a sensitive place for Virgo emotionally. And they're almost kind of emotionally raw here. And this person, knowing of an emotional situation with you, almost feels that they're going to uh, I want to say take advantage of that situation by offering you an emotional harvest or rather a material harvest and they do it out of nowhere it's almost as if they see you're raw, you're vulnerable what you need is a gentle ear and this person of respect comes out of nowhere and makes this offer of money in exchange for possible love. I'm going to take some Sibila on this, which I have not been doing, but this is an odd situation for me. I want to know if this is an employer who is offering sex or a employer who has decided that he's madly in love with you and can't live without you? Is this an employer who uh, honors the value of your work and is going to give you more money, but when it comes time for that material harvest, they totally crush you with an emotional loss. They break every single promise that they've made to you in October. Somebody's going to be feeling this energy. And these three cards jumped out of the deck. <clears throat> okay. For some of you, it's something, it's a development that you've been waiting for a while. It's going to bring fulfillment to your home. Fulfillment to your security. And we have the prigione, the prisoner. I almost feel like you, you are in a situation where you feel almost imprisoned by this person and their offer because you are, you're almost feeling, you almost feel that it might be worth taking the chance to bring the extra harvest into your world because maybe you're in terrible financial straits. You may be in horrible, horrible financial condition. And this person has offered you something wonderful. 
maybe in exchange for a business trip, which turns out to be a little bit more than just business. It can have that kind of energy. And this person doesn't want to wait for an answer. They want to catch you when you're confused. They want to catch you when you're not, when you don't really have your eye on the ball. Because they're, what they're really wanting from someone is that, you know, we got a South Sea Island, which sounds really great for a business trip. But how many business meetings can you take on Fiji? So just keep in mind for someone who's going to be given an illicit offer is the way it's being spoken to me, that it's going to be an, an offer out of nowhere for someone that just isn't going to be right. Ah, desperate act of jealousy. La la da da. And la superbia, the ego. Okay, we've got someone. I almost feel like this is a warning that you may be dealing with messages from someone's angry spouse. Uh, or someone in the scenario is dealing with someone who's got some jealousy issues. Maybe someone in the office. Maybe this really is a business trip that you've been invited on. And what you've got going on around you, Virgo, are jealous individuals who will call you out. They will probably possibly call you every name in the book under their breath. And it's all about ego. It's all about ego. Whether, <coughs> pardon me, <clears throat> whether it's dealing with this egomaniacal emperor energy that I'm getting from this, this controlling kind of. So I almost see Donald Trump. I see an orange Donald Trump kind of energy. Somebody who ex you to perform for him on any level and demands your respect and an offer coming at you out of the blue from this person. The Doctore, the Viaggio, oh my goodness, and the messenger, okay. We do have a trip here for someone. We have a trip we have a trip coming up. It could be on a more official level. Um, but just know that someone out of an act of jealousy, if this is you going on a legitimate business trip with your employer, just know that something could happen. I'm going to put it out there. Something on a physical, romantic level could happen. Just know you may hear from somebody's jealous wife. And they may be throwing some of their ego in your face. On that trip, it may be something on a more official level, but just be warned, Virgo, that you may be getting messages, not so happy messages from someone out of jealousy. And that's just a warning for someone. Again, I'm getting really very specific scenarios for you guys. Um, this one brings you into the middle of a real head or heart decision that you may have to contemplate in order to move forward in your career path. I needed a sip. Thank you very much. Okay, so... There you go. Now, we're going to go over to Vimeo, and we're going to take a look at Talking to the Dead. I'm going to try, and I did manage to have a very good reading for Capricorn and an amazing reading for Taurus connected to a individual in their life, maybe passed on. They were direct messages meant for someone, but we look and examine a life that has passed uh, and the messages that they would like to share with us and we'll take a look at that at, uh, at that video 
You can look at that at Vimeo. The link is down below. Again, if you want a reading meant just for you, go over to my website and I'll get a hold of you. We'll get the process moving. Okay, until the next time, Virgo, take care of yourselves. Take care of one another, please. And peace.